I'll be styling this skirt and showing you how you can style a black maxi skirt all year round and for all different types of occasions. Hi everyone, it's Bonet. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, some practical, modest dressing tips. Um, I know that a lot of you have been inspired to dress more modestly, um, to, to honor God in that practical way, in that area of your life, and for just so many different reasons, um, realizing your value and, and the sight of God and not wanting to be a stumbling block to our brothers in Christ, and just so many wonderful reasons. And um, while modesty is not all of Christianity or the way we dress is not our religion, our religion is in, or our lifestyle is in following Jesus Christ as our Savior and letting Him change us. But as we do that, um, Jesus starts to come into every practical area of our life and we want to glorify Him. So yes, so I, I like to make these videos to help um, a lot of you that are still requesting um, advice and tips for your journey as you strive to dress more modestly. So in this video, I want to show you something very practical. I want to show you how you can take one piece of clothing and use it so many different ways because we shouldn't be putting all of our energy and all of our money or all of God's money into getting so many clothes because we can dress modestly but still have those same desires as the world to be up to date with the latest trends and the latest fashions and the newest things you're just buying 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 new clothes 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 and you can still make clothing like an idol um even while dressing modestly and so this is just a tip to help you see that even with less you can still have um variety and dress appropriately for different occasions still with a smaller amount or smaller wardrobe and not having to spend so much money for so many things. So, um, to make the introduction a little bit shorter, basically I'm going to be styling a black maxi skirt. I believe a black maxi skirt is such a um, wardrobe essential, a modest wardrobe essential if you will, and I'm actually going to be remaking that video. I used to have a video up called Modest Closet Essentials, just kind of like a starter um, video with tips for people that want to start their journey of dressing more modestly, and so I will be remaking that one. But this is definitely one of those essential pieces. And um, there's a company called Kosher Casual, and they were so nice, they contacted me, and they wanted to, um, to share with me uh, wanted some of their clothing and, and about their company and wanted to know if I'd like to review one of their skirts and I was like yeah sure and I picked out the one that I liked and I knew that black modest black maxi skirts were such a essential in my wardrobe and I actually needed one so um, I ordered this one and this is the skirt it's a maxi skirt see <laughs> and what's so awesome about it is it has pockets and um, <laughs> it kind of has that pleated looking effect, but it's so soft and so comfortable. Sorry if there's like a little bit of things on it. I just wore this <laughs> not too long ago and I had it hanging up there for the video. But um, it's so comfortable. The quality is amazing. It's made in Israel and the material is viscose. I think that's how you pronounce it in Lycra. It's very soft, so com comfortable. My mom was like, the way that it looks on you, I would never think it was such a soft material of skirt like it looks so structured and just like like you know good quality and but it's still so comfortable so it's really nice I really recommend it I'll put their link down below they have so many different types of skirts different colors for the same skirt girl skirts um, tops and things so I'll put their information in the link below but overall I give this like literally a hundred percent a plus thumbs up I really 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 like this skirt and my mom like wants to get one and um I have a skirt similar to this that's like a khaki green color and it's starting to wear out because I wear it so much and I'm like, when that's done, I'm getting this skirt in that same green color. So, um, but yeah, I'll be styling this skirt and showing you how you can style a black maxi skirt all year round and for all different types of occasions. So we're going to be styling it um, for casual everyday wear and I'll split that into two like super casual, just like whew, super casual and nice casual, you know, running errands throughout the day, going to school, um, working at home if you're like a stay at home mom or something or just everyday kind of general casual wear. And then we'll have the business attire for like working in an office, that kind of more type of setting, business attire, I'm doing presentations, things like that. And also church, church attire, church slash formal um, special night, date night with your husband or something, I don't know. <laughs> and um, 
yeah so those are the main categories and i'll be styling this one black skirt for all of them for all seasons and i hope that this um helps to inspire you and give you practical tips on how you can make more with less and um yeah enjoy your modest wardrobe so god bless you remember that true modesty starts within and it reveals itself without and um uh, may, may we have a a true humble heart before our god and seek to glorify him in all that we do god bless bye all right, so let's start with the nicer casual wear, the things we'd kind of wear almost on an everyday basis. So here's an overview of the first outfit idea for nice casual wear for warmer weather. Now basically what I've done is of course I'm always using this black skirt in this video and I paired it with a, a lightweight denim button up. Denim button ups are just really great for all age groups and it, they're just fitted but they're casual and they're just, they're timeless and so um, I really like pairing a lightweight denim top with a black skirt or almost any skirt for that matter. I love that these um, these kinds you can roll up and button to make it a three-quarter length for the super hot weather or if you're doing work and you don't want your sleeves in the way and you can also roll it right back down for the cooler days. And then as you saw I just paired that with a neutral bag and some neutral shoes. Here are two different options either flats or sandals. Another idea is to use a neutral color belt to kind of pull everything together if you'd like a more of a cohesive look I guess you can say to tie the neutral and the denim and the black together um, or you can go with a colored belt for a pop of color maybe the younger girls might like this idea a bit more to add some color in there <laughs> also if it gets a bit cooler like on a cooler spring day you can add a, a very lightweight scarf um, it can have different colors because denim is kind of neutral as well um, and that's just another idea another idea is just pairing the black skirt with a nice colorful printed top um, and what I did here is, since it's a pretty flowy shirt, I just tucked it in the skirt and bloused it over a bit. And um, it's super comfortable, it's very lightweight, which is great for the summer, you just have to put a tank top underneath. And as you can see, it's three-quarter sleeves, so it's just very practical for those hot days or when you have to work or cook and stuff, your sleeves won't be in the way. And then I just paired that with a neutral bag, which goes with a neutral belt. And then the shoe options are the same as before, neutral flats or sandals. And now since that shirt was very flowy, um, you can take it out, or what I did here, I, I could take it out of the skirt, but then I paired it again with that belt to just to loosely bring it together instead of too much flowiness on top and on bottom, which can make you look bigger than you are. Or you can take a rubber band like I did here and just kind of tie the side and tuck it in, which I like to do sometimes. All right, here's a nice casual outfit idea for the cooler weather. So here's just an overview. You can kind of get a quick look. Um, basically what I did was I took a neutral color sweater and then underneath that I paired that with a button-up shirt. This time it has a Chinese collar which I think is pretty cool and I like that it's very practical because the two layers or three layers, um, however many you need, just gives you extra warmth. And then I like how the, the button-up kind of peeks out on top and bottom. It's pretty nice. And then I have a, a brown crossbody bag and then I also have some brown boots which I um, use a lot. And then, you, of course, you can add a nice scarf to tie everything together, and of course, for warmth on those cold days in the fall and winter. So that's an overview of that outfit. It's pretty basic, but it, and it's super, super comfortable, but it's nice, and you still look presentable and put together and like you cared about what you put on. <laughs> So here's another nice casual outfit idea for the cold weather. I have a nice um, colorful solid t-shirt and then on top of that I put a nice jacket to layer with it for warmth and then I have some black boots this time which were an awesome deal. I got them from Cato Fashions for $7.99 so they have really nice modest clothing, dresses, skirts, shoes, tops, everything. You should check it out and then I have a black crossbody bag but yeah just adding a nice jacket on top of a fitted solid t-shirt gives you extra warmth and helps to just bring everything together and so I added that with that and then I have a scarf which gives you extra warmth and then you can add some color with that scarf as well and use a scarf that has the color of, um, of your t-shirt to keep everything neat and pulled together the same kind of color scheme and again those are just a different view of the boots so you can kind of see what they look like they're very comfortable now time for super casual wear, just those days when you're just wanting to kind of lay back but still look presentable. So here's an outfit idea for the warmer weather, for super casual wear. Here, of course, with the black skirt, I just have a tank top and then a three-quarter sleeve, very lightweight um, cotton zip-up hoodie, I guess you can say. Yeah, a zip-up hoodie. <laughs> there you can see the hood and it's just, it's so comfortable. I love to wear this in the spring and summer. 
Um, and then I just have like a really neat little boho bag, little slack bag to just throw things in if I have to run out and run some errands. And then some neutral sneakers. Um, you can still wear sneakers with skirts. There are just some tips you can keep in mind when doing that so you don't look kind of frumpy. I do plan to do a video on how, what shoes go well with long skirts and dresses. I did do a blog post on it, so I'll link that below. Here's another shoe idea, kind of like those espadrille kind of shoes or like Tom's, something like that. I, I have these and um, that's just another nice kind of sneaker idea for the spring and summer so you're not too hot. <laughs> Now for the colder weather, it's basically the same concept. It's a hoodie, but it's a thicker material, and it still has a little bit of um, interest to it. The sleeves kind of fell out a bit, but then gathered together, and then I just have some all black sneakers. Those are actually my mom's. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's very simple, but super comfortable. And again, just a solid hoodie goes great with long black skirts. It's, black skirts are so versatile, which I love. If you want to add a little bit more warmth or more interest, more dimension, you can layer it with a denim vest. And of course you can take your hood out of it and it just gives you another layer, especially if your top was a bit more closer fitting or something like that. And you get some more warmth and I think it looks really nice. And again, the little sack bag. <laughs> Alright, and another idea, um, if, you, if you're up to it and you're not feeling that uh, laid back, you can even put some boots with this outfit and it's still pretty pretty casual but still put together. So you can also pair that with boots. Alright, now time for the business professional looks. For the warmer weather, here's just an overview of an outfit idea. Of course I'm using the same black skirt, but you can use different cuts of black skirts. I would probably wear an A-line skirt or a little bit of a shorter skirt with this one. But for the sake of um, sharing the, an idea with this same skirt, I just have a really nice lightweight button-up blouse. And this one's a little bit more unique. It has some white lining on the sleeves and of the cuffs and in the middle of the shirt. But you can just roll that up to a three-quarter sleeve if you would like to. Um, so you can get some more work done without your sleeves being in the way, but still covering your arms, you know, a, a good amount, especially in AC buildings. And it's just simply a nice fitted top that looks professional and ready for work and then you can just pair that with some um, some black flats for professional wear that are comfortable but still classy and a nice black purse and that's pretty much it it's pretty simple if you want to add a little bit more to it pull it together a bit more try adding a black belt of course not too tight but just to kind of bring everything together and to give a more fitted um, fit to your to your shirt There you go, there's a look with it again with the belt. And I really like how it just pulls everything together. It looks very professional. Now for the cold weather, um, a similar concept, but instead of a button up here, I just have a nice blazer. This is a very warm blazer. I think the material was um, tweed and I just layered that underneath with a long sleeve neutral shirt. And then I have a black purse again and the black pointy flats. I, I tend to like the pointy flats, um, especially with maxi skirts and dresses for formal wear. It just looks very, um, formal <laughs> and just classy and nice and so there you can see the blazer was three-quarter sleeve so I just have a long sleeve shirt under that especially for the cold weather and you can also add a scarf if need be and to pull everything together and that's that outfit idea All right, now it's time for church or more formal occasion ideas for the warm weather Here's just an overview of this next idea so you can see we have the black shoes and bag again. And then what I just did was took a really nice um, light, lightweight, sheer kind of material blouse that was three quarter sleeve and simply just paired that on top. There's a tank top underneath just for more coverage of the chest area. And so you don't see through the shirt since it is a more sheer material. And I just simply threw that on with the skirt. It's very simple, but because of the material and the blousing at the neckline, it just helps it to look um, more formal and more nice and then again with the black bag you can also belt it <laughs> i love using belts um, to help just bring things together everything just looks a bit more uniform dresses are so easy because it's just it already goes all together but when you have pieces you try to link everything together and then here i tucked the um, blouse in pulled the skirt up to make it more high-waisted and paired that with a nice blazer and i just cuffed the sleeves it's a lightweight blazer it works all year round for me actually and i really really like this look um, I think that's my favorite look with that blouse and this skirt for, for church or a more formal occasion. For the colder weather, I took a long sleeve um, sweater kind of material shirt 
and I paired that with a black um, OB belt to tie everything together with the black skirt again and then a nice um, scarf that has a little bit of color. In the fall and winter, the cold weather, we tend to wear lots of black and gray and brown. It's kind of, uh, kind of dead, I guess you can say. So I love to add little bits of color when I can while still being practical and keeping super warm. So I really like the scarf with the outfit to kind of bring some joy. <laughs> And as you can see in the scarf, the, um, the neutral color of the shirt is actually found in it. So when you pick scarves, you know, pick scarves that, if you pick multicolor scarves, that is, um, pick scarves that have colors, that has colors of things that you usually wear so that you can pair it with many things. You know, I have shirts that are the other colors in that scarf as well, um, I believe. So it's kind of cool that I can pair it with many different things. And then the pointy shoes, of course. I wear those shoes all the time <laughs> to church and for more formal occasions in that bag as well. So again, getting multiple use out of um, just timeless pieces. And then of course you can even change that up a bit by adding a blazer on top of that sweater. A black one just to keep everything um, coordinated. And then I use the scarf again to kind of break up all the black. And I just layer it underneath with that top. And that's just another idea. And you can't see the detail as much here, but it's kind of pleated at the bottom, and it just has some nice detail. It's very nice for formal occasions for church when you um, are dressing just very special to come into the presence of God. So I just finished recording um, the different outfit ideas. I pray that um, the ideas are helpful and useful and practical to you all on your modest journey. And um, I also want to say thank you again to Kosher Casual for letting me um, review the skirt. I really, really love it. It's great quality. So thank you um, for producing good quality, modest clothing. I really, I really like um, what you have to offer. So I hope you all check out their website and also remember I forgot to mention that by dressing modestly it's not just to say something about us but it's just point people to Jesus when they see us they'll notice people will notice something different and um, just like how ambassadors on earth you know they dress within the garb or the attire from their culture from where they're from let us dress in a way that shows that we're from the heavenly kingdom where where purity and righteousness um, covers all so uh, may God bless you and remember true modesty starts within and reveals itself without May God bless you. Bye. And if you all need any more modest outfit ideas, please let me know in the comments below. And by God's grace, I'll do my best to help you um, in that practical area of our lives. So 